Hi folks, we all love a Roald Dahl story and none is more popular I suppose than the BFG. The BFG is a great character draw, got big ears, big big old nose, quite a quirky quirky face. What I've done is uh, Quentin Blake's got it's a kind of his own very distinct st style so I've kind of gone away from that and gone across between that and kind of the movie uh, version. So it's quite a slightly cartoony version. Feel free to pause at any point, say how you get on and keep those requests coming and remember to like and subscribe. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with a little curved backwards sort of C mark like that. And then we're going to bring this out and down like that. And once you've got that curve around and up. And then curve a backwards C again going that way. And put a couple of little lines on that shape of the nose there. And you got that, do a line going down, a slight curve to it, and then do a sort of jaggedy line going on the top. Then we're going to do a little line going inside like that, and then a little curved line going like that. And then do a slight bit of the eye inside there, and then follow a bag underneath his eye few wrinkles. Now you've got that, bring a line in and then go up like that and then curve a cheek over that smile and down. And then put a couple of little wrinkles on that bit as well. Then you've got that, do a lip going out down and up and then go down and curve a chin around and in. Now once you've got that just to the left of the ear there I'm going to do a big ear so up, round, down and curve like that and up again. And then follow that line round with a slightly distance line going down like that. And then do a couple more creases inside like that. Then we're going to do a little bit of a side burn on there, so some slight little jaggedy marks going up the side to create a side burn there. Then do some creases that side to do the other eyebrow. And then we're going to bring this forehead, get a slightly bumpy line going back. And then put some creases on that forehead. Now bring that neck down, slight Adam's apple, and in. And then bring this line down like that. A couple of little lines for texture, just here and there. And then some little bits of stubble on his chin maybe. Then curve the light up and over. And we're going to bring this wavy hair kind of going backwards around like that. And then some curved hair at the back here. Just little wavy lines behind his head. Now you've got that, we're going to do a little collar, so bring a line round and then follow around to the side of it, just like that. And then do up and down, a couple of little creases, and the same just slightly further away on that side. Then we're going to do a waistcoat coming down like that, another line that side, and then curve up and up like that. Now we're going to bring a line out like that, so I'll lift that slightly there. 
and go down and then we're going to bring a leg going down that way and we're going to do another little side of it there and then down and then put some lines on those waistcoats then we're going to do another line going down with some creases like that some lines going across and then I'll do a line going out and back in again and then we're going to do a line going down to make his thumb curve around and up and then down down and curve in then bring that finger over and up and then some fingers going behind and bring the hand back over there and you can put some thumbnails on there like a little square mark and the same that side and then we can bring the leg going back like that and then the other knee coming out underneath that other arm like that then bring this arm going down with some more creases and then go back up to the top like that then we bring the arm down and the curve going down like that and then a thumb that way curving back round and then in in and in and then back up like that and the same again a few fingers behind and then curve back to that side and then you can put your thumbnail on there and a few lines on his hand same on that side a couple little hairs on his arm like this and then we can bring these trousers down over and up that down as well and up and then put some more creases on the trousers or pants depending on where you're from once we've got that I'm going to do some laces in there so a couple of little jaggedy lines then bring a foot over like that and back over and back and then we have the sole of the shoe followed just slightly further away same again and some creases on the shoe there once you've got that you can put a little hint of a rock going behind there and some lines and a line going down that way and then very faint bits of grass, little tiny little lines going across and across there and you put a few little marks on that rock just to give it a rocky shape finish that bit off there then what we need to do is a buckle so put a line going across and a square inside there with another smaller square and then a wiggly line going up and then we can do some buttons on his shirt then just to finish off we can put a few lines here and there just to put some age and wrinkles into his clothes and his skin as always a few details on the grass and there you have the BFG.